documenting your code is a good practice and we're going to look at some of the examples of doing exactly that. For that we're going to jump into our SRC for the phrases and actually edit the, well let's edit the English uh, .rs file. So I'm going to uh, just open it up in Notepad and we'll see what we can do with it. Now we've already seen some of the comments that I've used spuriously throughout the code. So for example when you write something like this uh, the part after the double slash gets completely ignored by the compiler. So everything is just a comment. It's useful for you to write, some, write down some notes, but it's not used by the compiler. And similarly, if you want your comment to take up several lines, you can do a star slash and then keep typing the comments all over the place like so. And uh, whenever you're done, you can do a star uh, slash like this and this ends the comment. So everything between those two delimiters will once again be ignored by the compiler and the star slash, uh, uh, the slash star star slash kind of comments can be put inside existing code. So for example, I can put a comment in here and everything from uh, this location to this location will be entirely ignored by the compiler. So it's just useful stuff that's helping me uh, work with uh, uh, work with uh, code effectively. Actually, let, let me close this. Uh, I'll save it and I'll I'll open this uh, in uh, Visual Studio uh, so that we can actually see some of the highlighting because it, it's a bit better when you uh, when you can see it this way. Okay, so you can see that the comments are green. That's basically the parts which are not going to be included. Now these comments are okay. However, in addition to this, Rust has special comments for documentation. So what is documentation? Why would you want to do it? Well, sometimes you want to generate files which actually tell people about the library that you've written, indicating how to use the functions, what they actually do, that sort of thing. So the first and simplest kind of comment is uh, a triple slash comment. And this comment applies to the code that follows it. So in the case uh, right now, we have a function hello and everything below uh, above that rather uh, with a triple slash would apply to this function. So let's write something. I'm going to say that this applies to code that follows it. And we can make another line. In this case, it's our hello function. Notice I'm using markdown syntax here. The back quotes are markdown and this is going to be processed correctly. So this is the documentation comment that applies specifically to this particular function. However, it's possible to also make comments which apply to the entire module. And for this, uh, you use slash slash exclamation mark. So this module contains English phrases. Let me get rid of this comment for now. And then I can continue and I can add a couple of examples. So if you want to add examples, you make a heading called examples. And then uh, remember we're using markdown. So in markdown, uh, the code blocks are delimited with a triple uh, back quote like so. Uh, let's uh, put things in between those triple back quotes. And here I can do an example. And one of the critical things uh, about Rust is that the examples that you have in between those triple sh uh, triple back quotes, they have to be completely valid code. They have to be compilable code, which means you can never actually make an example which is wrong, which doesn't compile. So here I can uh, do something like let username equals John and then I can subsequently uh, print line, uh, for example, uh, hello uh, John or bonjour John and here I can use that uh, phrases library because we're making documentation for the phrases library so this would be uh, phrases greetings English hello and then also include the username like so. All right, so now that we've written all this wonderful, all these wonderful comments, I'll get rid of these for now. Uh, what can we do with them? Well, there is another tool in Rust called uh, Rust Doc, and this actually generates the documentation for a particular file. So here, what I can do is, uh, here is my English.rs. I can say Rust Doc English.rs. Okay, and now if I do a, a tree, you'll see that uh, there is now a doc folder and it has a folder called English and also some of the other folders as well. So let's go into that. So cd doc 
and see the English. And here I have a, an HTML file which actually contains the documentation. So let's open it, index.html. So as you can see, what happened is RustDoc generated a very nice looking file for us, which contains a listing of all the crates that we're making, as well as the modules within those crates. And the module level documentation, this module contains English phrases, that's what was taken from the uh, the source code that I was editing. So the slash slash exclamation mark that went into the overall documentation for the entire module. Whereas when it comes to functions, that triple slash documentation that applied just to the function hello, we have it right here. And you can also sort of try clicking the function itself and you'll see this is a form of navigation. Here you see the function signature and you also see the documentation that we've written. So as I've demonstrated, you can use these special comments to uh, basically generate very good looking documentation for your libraries.